welcome to a new video. I've got a lovely soft one here for you today. I'm going on an artist retreat in a couple of weeks and I'm so excited. Um, so the retreat is hosted by by the lovely Tali Demeta, who is on Instagram. If you look her up, her paintings are so soft and romantic and beautiful. You will love them. So I am starting a new sketchbook for this retreat. It's by Cottonwood Arts. It's D2 sized, which is 5 by 8.25 inches. Um, yeah, Cottonwood Arts. I've never used this kind of sketchbook before. I don't actually even know where I got it. <laughs> it just appeared in my pile of sketchbooks. I must have purchased it at some point or another, but it's, it's lovely. The pages are quite bright white, like they are stark white, which is not something that I usually like going for in sketchbooks but it's super thick and super smooth and swooshy kind of paper so I'm you know I'm excited to give it a go and I thought I would do some cleaning up of my watercolor palette and then doing some swatching and some color palettes in this sketchbook here um, and show you that process. As you may know, I've done one artist retreat, which happened end of February this year, so only a couple of months ago. And it was a self-initiated solo art residency, which I took on myself. I went away to the country, a three, three and a half hour drive away, um, and spent about four nights away just painting and drawing the sights and sounds and beautiful countryside around me and it was the most beautiful location and I had a very good time but I also had a bit of a difficult time I really struggled with being alone and not feeling confident in getting out and exploring the bush and other sanctuaries and um, national parks and stuff like that in the area I just I was a bit scared I was hyper self-conscious and super self-aware the whole time and it kind of impacted my my experience um, yeah I you can watch the little vlog if you like I talk about a lot of my anxieties when it comes to painting outside by myself and also just being by myself in general um, it's kind of interesting So, you know, I'm excited for this art retreat because it's going to be with a group of humans and it's only going to be a small group. I think there's only going to be about six of us or so. Um, and, and it's the first time that Tali has ever hosted this retreat. So it's all going to be kind of playful and let's see how we go, I imagine. Um, she has set up all of these little activities for us to do and different locations for us to go around and explore and paint and um, perhaps we can workshop with each other a little bit and talk about our own processes and teach our own processes to each other as a group which is so lovely. But I'm looking forward to being in a group of humans and connecting with people and hopefully making some really special friendships because when you go away with people you you do like sort of you need each other you cling on to each other and um, especially if it's somewhere you've never been before so um yeah i'm looking forward to that i think starting a brand new sketchbook for this event is going to be really sweet i really love making travel journals when i went to chile last year I filled a whole travel journal full of all my explorations and I stuck in stickers and photos and tickets and stuff like that and um, it was really satisfying and really fun and really freeing to make this travel journal um, and some of you might know that I am hosting a workshop over in Ireland in July of this year so it's creeping up pretty quick um, and I'm going to be hosting this event. Uh, I have 15 travellers coming with me and we're going to explore Ireland together um, on like a specific itinerary tour. And I'm the host, so I'm going to be teaching people how to 
paint in different ways, how to look at landscapes in different ways, how to explore their creativity, mark making and all that kind of thing in their new travel journals. So we're all going to make a travel journal together uh, separately. Each, each person gets their own travel journal. Um, so yeah, this I feel like doing this retreat and starting this little sketchbook is kind of a, a practice in a way or just another fun travel journal to add to my pile of travel journals that are slowly building up. Now the first thing that I did, you just witnessed me clean my watercolour palette. It's probably the first time I've cleaned it in, I want to say, six years potentially longer. <laughs> I just like using the color mixes on the palette side of it over and over and over again. Um, I just get really messy and I'm inspired by all the colors that are there and messy and all over the place but every so often it's nice to just have a clean fresh start and but like have a bit of a, a breather from all the mess going on in my brain. So I, I really enjoyed cleaning up my palette and filling up the watercolors that were running out and that sort of thing. Um, yeah, and so the first thing I like to do in my sketchbooks is to do a swatch page. So I'm just going through all the watercolor pigments here and swatching them and seeing how they all look, um, how they react on this paper. So that's important. I need the watercolor to be able to hold really nicely on paper because I use plenty of sketchbooks that aren't great quality sketchbooks and I do that on purpose because I don't like to be too precious with my sketches. I like to remember that sketchbooks are fun and a way to like connect with the act of mark making rather than making beautiful perfect finished pieces. But in the travel journal, you do kind of make finished pieces in a way, in a sense. So I want the paper to be kind of nice and enjoyable to paint on. Um, and the stark white paper, actually, as I was doing this, I was like, the colors look so vibrant and lovely. I usually use off-white paper or slightly cream paper. Um, and everything has this like vintage retro look to it. So it was nice to paint on white white paper and see how actually how vibrant the colors can be so after that dried i was like yes the paper is holding the watercolor really well i love it it's got a little bit of crinkle to it but i again i don't mind that kind of thing i like how it can get a bit messy and chunky and that sort of thing so on the next spread i'm just doing some uh i'm just making up some color palettes and I'm kind of going a little bit stream of conscious, I'm not really thinking too much about color palettes. The point of this sort of exercise is to trial mediums, mixing uh, different colors that you wouldn't otherwise think of. Um, and yeah, just see what colors I'm kind of drawn to and uh, what kind of color palettes and color combinations I'm drawn to. Uh, just to see what happens, what com what combos happen and what patterns start emerging, what I naturally gravitate towards. Um, and this sort of page is really nice to look back on later. If I'm feeling stuck for color palette or I need some ideas or, or whatever, I can just add to that. And actually I might leave uh, another spread open after this so I can go back and just play around with color palettes again before I actually move on to a final artwork. Um, and I'm mixing in some Neo Color 2s here. You can see me um, activating them with water sometimes or just using them as a uh, pastel. And I love, I love Neo Color 2s. They're so vibrant and lovely. So yeah, I'm thinking of bringing a few other art supplies with me as well. I'll probably bring a bunch of my Prismacolor pencils with me, maybe a couple of other kind of pencils, like gray lead pencils, some thick ones. Um, and probably a couple of brush pens. Yeah, I haven't really got that far yet. I just know um, number one is watercolors and Neo Color 2 paints. So that's what I'm playing with here. But yeah, I am, I'm really looking for the, forward to this retreat. It's coming up in a, a week and a half or so. And I've got a lot of packing to do and a lot of prepping to do. And I can't wait to take you along with me when the time comes so keep your eyes peeled for that update and 
yeah, thanks for chilling with me while I swatch and try out my new sketchbook. Okay, talk to you later. Bye. Bye.